The three have finally become two, and this is end of phase one. This is the parliamentary uh, party, Tory party, that has been voting uh, for these candidates. And on this fifth and final ballot, uh, we now have Rishi Sunak, who will be facing off uh, against Liz Truss. So Rishi Sunak, the former Chancellor of the Exchequer, uh, and Liz Fr Truss, who is actually the current uh, Foreign Secretary. So those are the final two. As far as the vote, the uh, way it broke down is Sunak got 100. 37 votes. Once again, throughout this process, he has come in first place. He did it again today. Uh, Trust got 113. Uh, interestingly, she had consistently come third, but she's jumped to second, therefore beating uh, the trade minister, Penny Mordaunt, who will be bitterly disappointed with 105. So that second phase I was alluding to is that it now goes to a ballot of 160,000 Tory party members with the result announced on the 5th of September. So on the 5th of September, we'll have a resignation of a Prime Minister. That will be Boris Johnson, three years plus in the job. The man who brought a Brexit, he says he mostly accomplished his mission and told us at PMQ's Hasta la Vista Baby, after giving a bit of advice uh, to any future Prime Minister. Um, and basically what we're going to have is uh, somebody going to see the Queen and forming the next government. And as you say, that will be either Prime Minister Sunak, the first time that a Prime Minister would be of Asian origin. That will be uh, so a very experienced finance minister uh, who really helped to set the trend of uh, quitting the government and those 60 government resignations we saw. Or it will be uh, Prime Minister Liz Truss. And that will be only the third time uh, that that this country has a female uh, prime minister. She has just thanked uh, her, um, everybody who supported her in the Tory party, and she says she's ready to hit the ground from uh, day one. She's promised various cut in taxes, and that is something that uh, the man that she will be against, Rishi Sunak, says that this is simply fairy tales. He says he's in the best place and the best position and has the most experience, and therefore he should win. But we'll see what Tory members think. We will indeed, Benedict, because, of course, it is them now that have the power to decide who will be Britain's next prime minister. Do we know at this stage who probably has the best chance among the members? Well, if we were to believe polls just a few days ago, it looked like, uh, in fact, that uh, Mr Sunak, whoever he would be against, whether it was Liz Truss or Penny Mordaunt, he would not uh, get uh, the vote, uh, the winning vote from the Tory members. But this has all been fluctuating so much. And as of this Friday, hustings uh, will begin. And indeed, the BBC has just announced uh, that although, for example, there was a debate that was cancelled on Sky News uh, two days ago, because I think very much the candidates, Mr Sunak and Ms Truss, uh, made representations, said they probably wouldn't take part. Because when we had a, a debate on Sunday night, they were all tearing lumps out of each other. And in fact, the Labour Party has edited uh, very quickly and put on social media these clips of these various uh, Tory candidates, these blue-on-blue -blue attacks, as we call them here, uh, tearing lumps out of each other, whether it's about the economic record or other. Whoever becomes the next Prime Minister, they will have many challenges ahead of them. We've just heard today uh, that the inflation has risen to 9.4% from the 9.1% it was already. That's a challenge in itself. Uh, we've also uh, got the very real threat of more public sector strikes. Uh, public sector very unhappy at the two or three or four uh, percent that they're being offered when indeed inflation is now at 9.4 percent. Uh, so very many challenges lie ahead. Who will of Rishi Sunak or Liz Truss become the next prime minister, the result here on France 24 on the 5th of September?